All right, I want to talk to you today about healing pain during your race. Um, so you don't even have to stop for the pain, you just keep going. So you've got this pain, say it's like a little twinge in your ankle, and you start feeling it and you're like, oh no, I have this much further, I've got to go in my race and I've got this pain. And I know it's only going to get worse, but I just have to tough it out. I'm just going to ignore it and keep going. And that's exactly what you don't want to do. You don't want to ignore your pain. You have pain for a reason. Your body's trying to talk to you. It wants you to pay attention to it. So um, even just sending attention to it is um, going to uh, send positivity to it. So right when you start feeling that pain, you don't want to start putting it down. You don't want to tell it that it's failing you. You don't want to tell it, tell it all of the all of the ways that it's um, a bad thing. You want to send strength to it, not weakness. So you want to start sending positivity to it. So the first thing I do is I fill my heart with love and gratitude for my ankle and I send it down to my ankle. All right. And then, um, and I just let that love swirl in there. And then the next thing that I do is I go, okay, if this pain in my ankle, if this pain had a color, what color would it be? It's not important what color it is or anything. It's just um, an exercise that brings more focus to it. So say my pain was blue. I go, okay, with my mind's eye, if I'm looking at the pain in my ankle, it looks blue to me. And then um, after you figure out what color it is, you're going to go for a shape. So you go, okay, it's blue. And if it had a shape, it would be a triangle or it would be um, something cloudy or something spiny in there or whatever just like whatever shape that pain would have if you had an idea of it so um, you've got that going on and then after that I like to um, there's healing energy all around us it's um you know light and energy in everything in the with all of the frequency fields going on around us and you want to pull some of that in so you imagine um, the the pores of your skin and you want to pull that light and that frequency in through those pores of your skin into your ankle or the injured area and let it just swirl in there. Praying is always good too. I always like to send up a prayer for my, my injuries and that's probably the first thing that you should do. But um, anyways, you pull that, that light in and you let, it, you let it swirl in there and you focus on that color and that shape and let that healing light be in there and you send love and positivity to that to that injury and um, a lot of times that's all it'll take and it'll um, it'll it'll send healing and it, it alleviates my little twinges that, that would turn into something more serious pretty pretty quickly and you want to keep that light and that healing and that love in there um, for the for the duration of your race until you can stop and be finished and let it rest or whatever but don't send it any negativity so for this next part this is a little bit more advanced but um, I'm gonna show you anyway so if it, for those of you who want to know more about healing that other stuff should uh, should really be good but um, this is more so that for every part of your body there's an opposite or a reciprocal so if you've got an L so your elbow the reciprocal is your knee okay and for your for your ankle the reciprocal is your wrist for your hip, the reciprocal is your shoulder. And you actually, if one of your knees hurts, you have to um, heal both knees in order to just heal the one. So for, for this technique, you, you uh, do the healing for both of them. And what you do is you want to connect the reciprocals or the opposite points on the body. And um, it's not, it's actually this elbow to this opposite knee over here, <laughs> right here. So this knee to this, to, to this elbow. So anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to fill that injured knee with light. You're going to fill it with all of this light, and then you're going to fill this opposite elbow over here with light. And then you're going to connect the two with a stream of light, okay? And then at that point, they're both connected. You can feel that connection. This is all while you're still running. And then you connect that up to your brain. And connecting it to your brain says, realize what's going on right here. I'm telling you, I'm feeling pain right here. So you, you realize it by connecting it to your brain. And then from your brain, you connect it down to your heart. And connecting to it to your heart says, go and fix this. So you've got all of these connections going. You've got a connection going here. From the middle of this, you pull it up to your brain. From your brain, you pull it down into your heart and say, go and fix it. And then you have to do the other side. So you bring light into this knee, light into this elbow, connect them. And then from there, you pull it up into your mind, realize what's going on here. Pull it down into your heart that says go and fix it so this can work for anything if you're if it's your shoulder you'd hold the put the light in your shoulder and your hip for the top of your hip it's the top of your shoulder for the back of your hip it's the back of your shoulder 
or the front of the hip is the front of the shoulder, or you can just focus on the entire, the entire hip. So it works like that with fingers and toes, just the opposite. So, so thumb and big toe sort of thing, and you just connect those, and um, it'll bring it'll bring healing to it. So that is a little bit more advanced. The um, the other stuff should work just fine, but anything. Any positivity that you can bring to your in injury is going to aid it in the healing. And as soon as you, the sooner you can do it, the better. If you start feeling a little bit of pain during your race and you've got to finish, you've got to send it positivity and send it strength. And um, and for me, it, it saves me every time. Obviously, if you are seriously injured, you should definitely stop and take care of it. But if it's just something like this where it's the beginnings, the beginning stages, you can stop and it and it's tracks and by the time you finish, you might not even feel any pain and you could probably keep going. That's what happens to me a lot. Anyways, that's my healing video. Um, I'll probably do some more exercises that can help uh, keep your keep your brain hemispheres going. Have it have your right and left hemispheres crossing before you even start your race and um, just some exercises that will begin your mind being ready for the race so that you don't just start into the race and you're in um, everything's not flowing keeping your so keeping your energy at optimum level before you begin um, begin your race so that uh, you know sometimes you can be a little bit off and it can affect your whole race I'm going to teach you how to get um, get your body and your energies running well so that you have your potential and you can just go and you don't have to have an off day Anyways, see you later.